Hey YouTube, don't mind the stuff in the background. I'm cooking. But today's video is how to make rice water the correct and the right way. I know a lot of people, they make rice water and when they make it, they either make it too strong or less potent. So they don't really get the full effect of the hair growth. It will grow, but <clears throat> it won't grow as much as it's supposed to. So for this, I got the Canela Goya rice bag. You can get any rice, but not yellow rice, obviously. Um, they said white rice has less protein than um, brown rice. Brown rice has a lot of protein, so when you do it, you will have to keep straining off the water and maybe use like the, the third or fourth batch of water that you use to have it sit and concentrate. But for me, the white rice has been the best because it doesn't strip my hair, doesn't make it fall out, it makes it grow, and yeah, I'm used to it. Okay, so first, I'm going to get a little bowl like this. It could be a little bowl like this, and I'm going to show you guys in a cup because I know a lot of people don't have bowls maybe. And then a cup like this. So say you have a bowl like this and a cup like this in the house. You have the rice. If not, let me see, hold on. Hold on okay. Let me just take some rice out since I'm the one recording. It's kind of harder. I'm gonna just take the rice out like this. Okay, so this is the first grain of rice. I'm not gonna put too much in it. So if you have a bowl, rice water because I'm going to put it in something. So say you have a little bowl like this, right? It looks like this. It looks like this. This right here can last you for a month depending on how much you use it because you're really supposed to use the rice water one time a week or once a month. If you want better results, use it once a week in your hair. Okay, so that's in the bowl. If you have a cup, let me show you how much to put in a cup. Basically, all you have to do is just, like, that could last maybe like a week. <laughs> that's not really that much rice. Put another teaspoon. I'll say put about like three teaspoons for a little bit more. how the rice look so it's supposed to let's make the rice cover that half of the cup okay you don't want too much rice because it's going to be too much so now you can either use pipe water or you can use regular water i'm going to use regular water okay so now i have the bottle of water i want to show you how much to put in it um, when I first learned about rice water, it was from that, I think, what's her name? Jazzy is funny, or like that girl from YouTube. She was the first one to like tell people about rice water, because she didn't have no hair. Huh. So, when I heard that from her, I'm like, okay, let me try it. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. So you have two options when you make when you're making rice water that nobody tells you about. You have the first option, which is to keep it sitting for four hours, or you can have it sitting for a day. If you have it sit for four hours, it's gonna be potent, but obviously making it sit for a day is better. If you have it sit for four hours, um, when you first pour the water 
it might look cloudy so if the rice water looks cloudy like super super white and like like i said cloudy that means that it's too potent so you have to pour off that water and then pour a new batch obviously don't make the rice fall out like try to hold the water like that or however you drain it then you put the second batch that's the water you keep for the four hour method and the one day method because it's going to be cloudy but if you put enough water it should not be cloudy so if your water doesn't look cloudy that means you're doing it the right way but don't also don't put too much water so let me show you how much water i would put if i was doing it like this so okay okay mm, i don't want to waste the water too much so i ain't gonna put that much so this is the cup now That's it. Just enough for it to go over the line. You can mix it around. See the color? That color means that that's all the protein. So if I had this sitting for four hours, it would be super white. Y'all would be like, oh no. <laughs> that type of white color is what makes people hair fall out and what makes um, your hair shred because too much protein is not good for your hair. And rice water originated from um, the Chinese people because I did my research on it. Um, this is what they use to actually make their hair grow. It's like a, a ritual thing that they do. See? This one. This one looks semi-perfect. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. It's going to be a little bit cloudy. See? See the color difference? Mm, not really, maybe not really no color difference. But this one looks a little bit darker to me. Yeah. You let this bad boy sit. Let it sit, let it sit. So me, I add the rice water to things. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Add just a little bit more water. Add a little bit more water just to get to that part right there. And this is the perfect. So now, this much water with this much rice is how your rice water is supposed to look. I'm gonna let this sit for four hours. Four hours. And that, my friend, is how you make rice water. If you use this method, or if you try it, please let me know the results. You could comment, do whatever you want. But I promise you, your hair will grow. I'm actually gonna have my hair at the end of this video so you guys can see how long my hair is.